This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Puka Nakua. Now, I told y'all that you know, this week I'd probably have some film on the channel that wasn't completely Ravens related. And I felt I felt the need to go back and talk about Puka because beginning of the year and Puka was doing this thing, I kind of wrote it off as he was a system guy, you know, because Cooper Cup was hurt. I felt like McVay just kind of slid him in the Cooper Cup role and he was getting, you know, stuff that Cooper Cup would get. I thought once Cooper got back, his his play would fall off. So week three or four, whatever the week was, Cooper came back and Puka, his catches kind of went down a little bit because, you know, the first couple of weeks he had like 20 some odd catches or something like that. So when, when Cooper came back, his, his production went down a little bit. But it, I, guess, I guess he found his role and his production went right back up. And so – Long story short is, Puka set the record for most catches by a rookie and most yards by a rookie. So we knew this coming into this week. Then you come into this Lions game, and yes, we know they lost. We know they lost. We understand they lost. But Cooper Cup was used as the decoy. Puka was the guy. Puka Nakua, rookie, had nine catches, 181 yards. I just want to look at and take a look at how he did what he did when he was doing what he was doing. Because I was I was scratching my head like, man, they, they got to do something different. This dude is going off. Then he he got hit, got had a concussion and came back and was th- they tried to take him out and they, they just couldn't stop him. So let's let's dive into this Puka Nakua film. Uh, nine catches, 181 yards. We're not going to show all nine catches, but, man, this, this dude's – truth. <laughs> he the truth. Let's get into it. That's him in motion, number 17. We all know that. Little screen. Nothing nothing extravagant, but again, yak. Yak. Yak for this kid. That, now, what I've heard is, not the fastest, not the strongest, good hands, plays fast, plays hard. Is He's a football player. Break tackle. Look at that stiff form. Look at that stiff form. So the blocking's out there. One guy free. One guy got free. Look at this stiff form. Get off me. And then just lowers his shoulder on Jack Campbell, who's a linebacker. Still don't go down. Tough. Tough. And again, like I got a video on a short on the other channel showing him blocking too. Where he lines up right outside the tackle and folds in, well inside the tight end and folds inside the tight end. Now we don't have any of these on this tape. This is all him catching the ball, but just so you know, he is blow, no block, no rock certified. No block, no rock certified. Bottom of your screen. Now, this was third and short or fourth and short. I can't remember which one it was. But they didn't need a lot of yards. So they set him up like they was gonna run a little hitch. Number one sits on it. Bam, over the top. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then finishes finishes the run. This is like he ain't just go out of bounds. Let me let me make sure I get in. Let me finish it. I ain't going to just take this little blow and get out of bounds. Let me, let me score this touchdown. But I love the fact that not only – now, three people that I want to commend for this play. One, Sean McVay for calling it. Two, Matthew Stafford for, you know, the pump then the throw. Then Puka for, you know, executing the catch. Pump, gone. Flat-footed. Went right on by him. Untouched. Never even touched him. Never even touched him. 50-yard touchdown. Now, I don't know what the celebration is, but who cares? 
is brought to you by our newest sponsor, 621 Gallery. I've noticed in the past couple of months that we have a few local Raven, Ravens fans here in Tallahassee, one of which is the owner of 621 Gallery. He said he wanted to help the channel because he liked what we was doing. Well, this sponsorship is a result of that conversation. 621 Gallery is the oldest contemporary art gallery in Tallahassee. It's located right between FAMU and Florida State. If you don't know, both schools are within walking distance from each other. You can pretty much walk from one campus to the other. 621 is part of the Railroad Square Arts District. They provide an environment for community and art to come together and be a part of something larger than themselves. They start each month with First Friday, a gallery hop that started in the early 2000s. Throughout the month, they have an array of programs and events ranging from art auctions to concerts to fashion shows. Thank you to the leadership at 621 Gallery for sponsoring this video. And you can find them at 650-3 Railroad Square if you're in Tallahassee or online at 621 Gallery on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, 621 Gallery, for sponsoring this video. Mm, look at the release. Now, I know they playing zone. I know they playing zone. This is this is him up here. No, they playing zone. Nope, no hands. Big time catching traffic. You're gonna have another in cut in traffic that's gonna be even tighter than this one. But again, he don't mind working in the middle of the field. Now, let me let me say this before I forget. Matthew Stafford is a freaking warrior. Again, I understand they lost, and Stafford had like 380 something or something like that. Matthew Stafford is a warrior. He was taking a pounding and studied throwing dimes. They just couldn't finish in the in the red zone. But look, look, look at the toughness from Nakua. Now the route, it was simple. He, he was wide open. He was in the NFL open. But look at the toughness. All right. Stiff on you. Stiff on you. Break that tackle. Break the tackle again, then finally go down. So you don't see toughness like that, like this out of a lot of receivers. You just don't. Come in motion. This is the big catch. Man, that's a big time catch right there. Man, that's big time. Run the D, the basic they call it in the NFL. Look at this. Four guys. One, two, three. Well. We can count him. We're going to count him for dramatic effect. Four. And take the lead. Go up high. Full extension. See the guy in front of him. Brace himself forward. Take it. Come down with the ball. Not only come down with the ball, get yak. Get yards out of it. Because he, he's he comes down at what's that, the 16? Tackled at the 13? Wild. Wild. Coming in motion again. Now they do a uh motion them to every play. So if you if your motion checks ain't 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 on point, they're gonna screw you. Yeah. Mo yak. Mo yak. Shakes the tackle of uh Kerwin Joseph, who's a safety. Mo yak. Mo yak. Mo yak. Tough individual, man. Can run routes, can catch the ball, can block, can uh helps you in your in your in your run game as far as inline blocking. I mean, what 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 else? What else you want? What else you want an individual to do, man? I don't I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Do the certified star. Do a certified star. And he was on the biggest stage because, you know, in the playoffs, nobody, there are no games going on. So everybody's watching the same game. The biggest stage probably of his career, he put on. He put on. So shout out to Puka Nakua for, for doing your thing, man. I enjoyed watching the game. Sorry you guys lost, but um, I'm pretty sure the future's bright for, for this guy. Again, set the rookie record for yards and receiving. And um, unless he gets in a situation where he don't have a guy that can throw it to him, because I know Stafford's toward the end of his career, the kid's going to have a long career, man. A good, a good long career, especially learning from Cooper Cup. And uh, this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tyler Films, man. I hope you guys appreciate this little not Ravens content. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you've not already done so. 
And uh, I'll see y'all soon, man. We got a ton of Ravens content coming his way. And um, y'all be here for it. Peace and love.